Marijuana use in the United States has increased considerably over the last several years. In 2016, a national survey found that about 24 million Americans had used marijuana in the previous month. Where I live, in the great state of Illinois, marijuana was legalized in January of 2020. As a result, a lot more of my patients who are attempting to have children are using marijuana. Unfortunately, good research about the impact of marijuana on fertility has been limited. Is there any reason to be concerned about marijuana use in males? Yes. THC is the primary chemical in marijuana which is responsible for the high that marijuana users receive. THC receptors are found in the testicles and on the surface of sperm cells. Marijuana use could theoretically affect sperm production and function. For fertility, the evidence is mixed as to whether marijuana lowers fertility or not. I talked about that in this video. What about the risk for miscarriage? A recent study has now provided us with some data on that. This study is called the PRESTO study. The PRESTO study ran from 2013 until 2019. Couples who were planning to become pregnant completed an online questionnaire regarding a number of behavioral factors, including marijuana use. If a pregnancy occurred, then couples completed follow-up questionnaires about the outcome of the pregnancy. Over 1,500 couples conceived during the study. 9% of men reported marijuana use before pregnancy less than one time per week, and 8% used marijuana one or more times per week. Among men who used marijuana more often, about half reported using every day, one quarter used four to six times per week, and one quarter used one to three times per week. What did this study show? About one in five of the couples had a miscarriage. In those couples where men only used marijuana less than once per week, the rate of miscarriage was no different than those without any marijuana use. However, couples with a higher amount of marijuana use, once a week or more, had double the risk for miscarriage. About one-third of those couples experienced a miscarriage. If men were over the age of 35 and using marijuana more than once a week, the risk for miscarriage was quadrupled over never users. The link for miscarriage was strongest for losses that occurred before eight weeks. In some couples, both partners reported marijuana use. Very importantly, these higher rates of miscarriage with male use held up even when they looked at couples in which the female partner never used marijuana. I know that some of you are going to ask me how the male marijuana use is linked to miscarriage in their partners. The answer is we don't know. The authors of this study suspect that the primary chemical in marijuana, THC, may adversely affect sperm quality. At this point, however, this is just a theory. Our Infertility TV bottom line is this. There is credible evidence that male marijuana use may increase the risk of miscarriage in their partners. Based on the current best science, it is reasonable to recommend avoiding marijuana use when trying to conceive or at least to limit use to less than once a week. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.